to welcome again to Mr. V's tutorial class. So today we're going to learn how to schedule a meeting in our class teams and at the same time have a full control on that meeting. So first thing you need to do, open up your Teams app or desktop app and be sure you're on your Teams page. Okay, so what you need to do to do first is to go to the calendar click on calendar and select the period where you want to schedule a meeting so for example our meeting is on the Thursday 5th period Thursday 5th period so I want to click on the 9 o'clock Thursday click on that one double click on it and it will show you this page so after this page just enter all the necessary information such as the name of the meeting or the schedule that the schedule name so for example period 5 geometry okay and then if you have multiple class on it since we're just going to schedule it in a particular channel you can add your students here if they are not on that class teams okay then double check the date and the time so if you need if you want more time you can add it you can uh, you can edit this one to different hour I'm just going to leave it as 30 minutes since I can extend it up to an hour or so okay so on the snap repeat but uh, area you can click on that and do it custom and select how many or what particular pattern you want to repeat that meeting so I'm going to do weekly and every Thursday and then I will go to select an ending so quarter 3 ends on March 12 I'm going to put it March 12 then just click save on the add channel area you need to uh, you need to assign this on a particular channel so for example I'm going to put it on my Mr. Beast geometry class and I'm going to put it on my general okay so on general so every student that is in this class will, have, will receive the notification that they are that we have a meeting on that particular period okay then if you want to put in some other details so for example geometry classes last meeting in teams so reminder for example you want to send them a reminder please be ready so be on time be prepared So it's just an example. So after that, you click hit send, and the system will create the schedule. So since it's still loading up, so this next step is very crucial. So since it's still loading up, you can just go to Teams and go back to the calendar again. And I think it's already ready. So select the schedule that you have, so double click on it and it will show up again this page. So earlier we don't have these options up here. So it only shows this option once we save it on our calendar. So this is the most crucial part. So when we click meeting options, it will open up a new screen. On this new screen, this is, the, this is the place where you can have full control on your scheduled meeting. So who can bypass the lobby, it's up to you if you want to control that, but most of the time I've only put it on the meeting. Okay, then who can present, this, this is the options or the setup wherein your student cannot mute you since you are the presenter. So. By default, it says everyone, so I'm going to change that into only me. Okay, so I 
to own limit. So remember when you do this, the students cannot share their screen, they cannot unmute you, and they cannot uh, yeah, they cannot share screen. That's totally uh, the, the thing that it can do. So it cannot share. They cannot share their screen, and they cannot unmute you. Okay. So click save. And when it's done, then your schedule is in. It's a go go now. So you have now the full control. For that period in on on that meeting for that particular period okay so you're just going to do the same pattern the same thing for your other classes all right so that's how you gain full control of your class meeting in Microsoft Teams if you have any questions please reach out to me